Hi guys, welcome to my video on comparing a uh, real Daniel Wellington watch and a fake Daniel Wellington watch. So um, let's get started with the crown of the watch. Uh, as you can see, the arch of uh, the the real Daniel Wellington watch is much bigger, um, comparing to the uh, fake one as it's flat. Uh, continuing on to the logo, if you um, just take the index, the end of the index, and uh, the center of the watch. You'll uh, actually have that as pinpoints, and then you can see that it's beautifully centered. Um, if you compare it to the fake one, you can definitely see that the logo is um, much higher than it should be and too close to the index. Um, just to give you an indication of where the logo should be. Um, you can actually use lines um, if you take the third index and, and just use the top there you'll see that the initials are just underneath there but it's also possible that the initials could be a little above the line um, also the Daniel Wellington name is also underneath the line but again, it could also be halfway. So if you keep that in mind, just use uh, those indications and you'll be just good. Uh, just use our indexes to make it easier for yourself. Uh, also, when you look at the fake one, you can easily see that the position is very different. It's way on top of there and that's not what it's supposed to be. Continue on with the hands of the watches. Again, it's way too long and it's almost touching the index. So that's definitely uh, a fake one then. Um, also, the short one shouldn't touch it. And if you look at the real one, it has a small gap. So that's also very important. Uh, the index of the real one is thin and long as the fake one is in this case uh, short but thin. Uh, also the bigger index uh, on this in this case is short and thick uh, and the gap is too big. Uh, it should actually be a small gap and it should be thin and long. Uh, now the back side of uh, a classic watch. Uh, we'll start with the curve back and then uh, three quarters of the way it flattens out so that's also uh, uh, indication uh, the fake one curves and then at the end almost at the end uh, flattens out um, also the logo on the back on the plate itself and I'm not 100% sure about this but uh, as far as I've seen, all of the uh, logos and information on the backside are engraved. And the uh, W of the water resistant word should be diagonal to the logo. And also, always on top, uh, never uh, on the left or right side or on the bottom of the Daniel Wellington logo. And also, um, the fake ones always are imprinted. And also, the circles, um, the first circle with information inside it, and then the second one with the logo. The backside of the classic is beautifully curved and it flattens out on the top, as the uh, fake one actually curves shortly and then flattens all the way out. Uh, the horns of the classic uh, are on top of the watch and beautifully on the back that goes smoothly and at the fake one it actually uh, is stuck on the back and partially on the top. This is the grace. Uh, the grace as you can see on the right side is uh, has a glossy finish and also from the inside has a, a a uh, real one is actually frosted. It has a frosted finish. 
the logo again is uh, beautifully centered of the real down ones and watch and uh, the fake one on the right side is again uh, positioned way uh, on top so that's also a good indication to see if it's fake or not also the hands of the fake one is thin and the real one is actually a little thicker uh, also the longer indicator uh, uh, longer hand is thin uh, again the crown uh, at this arch is uh, again flat but pointier and uh, the fake one is um, flat and that's it it doesn't point out it's just flat uh, the image is not clear but it should be as same as the classic one the classic fake um, also the straps are also easy to identify as real or fake is when a strap uh, especially the initials on the strap are in are printed on there instead of engraved they should always be engraved and this is uh, something I know 100% and I'm definitely sure of that all of them should be engraved and not printed on there this is the end of my video uh, thank you for watching if there are any questions please let me know if my information was incorrect also let me know as soon as possible thanks guys bye